So in this game, guys, I was playing against, um, wait, am I tripping? Did I say Azzy in this game? Wait, I was actually playing against the Kai'Sa this game, not against Azzy. I am, guys, I have to edit this pretty quick. Give me a, give me a quick moment. This is Kai'Sa, man. I, will, I don't know what I was smoking that day, but uh, it was definitely too much. Okay. Let's now get into the game. So I was playing against uh, Kai'Sa. And this is actually a really hard matchup again. So let's see uh, how I actually handled this one. What's up, Smidovka? Right. Bro, this loading screen was longer than the Chinese wall, seriously. Okay, let's see how we approach this one. So basically, guys, what's the game plan for Kaisa here? She wants to walk up. She wants to auto attack me with um, Hail of Blades. And she wants to be annoying as hell. And she wants to Q me, right? So there are two ways you can handle this. You can either literally stay here and wait. But then you actually miss the XP for these few minions. Or you can actually um, walk up. And try to W forward. Or you can actually use E. So you can skill your E first, use two auto attacks on her and then run away. That way the trade is like equal. And this is actually good for you. Because she's the one pushing the wave in, which means that she's in danger. Um, my little can always gank. So yeah. So let's see what she does. Obviously she walks up. And I just E in. Auto attack. Auto attack. Auto attack, I actually cancel him auto there, which is really bad, and then I run away. She does get a good trade on, but my minions are still hitting her. Look, like, my minions are still hitting her. So it is a net positive trade for her, but I'm totally satisfied with this situation. And also what happens here, and this, this is, like, really important, my minions start attacking, or, like, they were attacking the wave, and now they are attacking the Kaisa, which means that they are not getting low. And that means that this wave is overall pushing into my tower here, okay? And the minions pushing into my tower is really good because having the minions right here is a really comfortable position for me. And then I even have Nidalee ganking here, which is definitely really nice. But I don't know what she's what she's doing now. Like she's overdoing it on the gank. I have nothing, like I can't do I can't do anything here. So yeah, we just skill. Q here. Remember that after skilling E, level 1, you always have to skill Q because there is no way to play the lane otherwise because you have to, you can like EQ auto and that procs the Lucky Cute instantly and W doesn't really give you anything. Unless you want to run some someone down, right? Okay, then nothing really happens. I just go for minions whenever Kai'Sa is, um, whenever Kai'Sa is not harassing me. And yeah, now we have a big wave under our tower. We get all the minions here. And this is something, guys. It's a small detail, but it's really important. So I wanted to jump onto this Kai'Sa right now, okay? But she's running away. So if you run back, actually, she will run back into you. And since you are the one initiating the spacing, um, when you run back and she runs back and you run back into her, She's actually still running into you for a split second. And this is already enough time to close the gap and use E. And you can see exactly that happening right here. So I walked back right here. Did you see that? That small micro movement right there. I walked back for like a split second and she moved immediately. And I moved back immediately. And that way, she actually ran into me. And then I could E auto Q, grab ice Q. And Q her again. And this is like such a good trade. And she can't follow up because I used Ice Q. You only don't want to do this if the enemy jungler could be here. Because then you just get screwed over. You have no cooldowns. But generally speaking for trading this is like really good. I grab another Ice here. I EQ the Kai'Sa. So my Nidalee can actually hit a spear. And then she kind of overdoes it I feel like. And I also don't get the kill. I grab W here and use Q flash, but it was it was not enough. And right here, I actually have to go. I have to go back. This is like really risky. If the enemy jungler comes, I'm just yeah. I mean, I'm just screwed here. And look what happens. The enemy jungler comes. 
<laughs> and I die. So yeah, we, we TP back into lane. And we see the opportunity here to roam because my wave is situated quite well. As you can see, my wave is actually right here. So I do have some more time to get this roam going. I W over. And I try to get something, but it doesn't really work out. Ezreal just flashes me instantly. And I think I misplayed here, by the way. Um, if we look at this, I think I could have killed him. Like, my Q would have killed the Ezreal for sure. So going back, so he used that on me, and now I could have used Q, which I did, and I hit him. And then I W into this wall so I can cancel my W animation. So I use W into this wall, right? And then I use another Q on him. And that way he dies, because then I actually proc Electro on him, and yeah. But I didn't do that, so we don't kill the Ezreal. But I actually expected Ezreal to run into me here, so I just walk up, and I knew that he would probably E in. So I just used a double Q right here. And it was enough to kill him, because, I mean, he just Q'd into me. Q, Q, and he dies. Really nice, and now we push the wave and take a reset. We run back into mid, and we have a skirmish right here. And note that we are currently 6 and 2. But this KDA actually doesn't really matter, because you have to just stay focused and just don't care about it. And by the way, I'm really strong right now, I just got a kill, I have pickaxe, I have serrated dirk, I have longsword, right? And this fight is actually great for us. And then I actually just wait for my team to do something here. I... E the Aatrox, I art the, the, the Braum and the Talia, and this is important, whenever you stack CC, you want to wait until your stun is over, and now actually use Ice Q, and that way the root actually lasts longer, because if you Ice Q immediately after the R is gone, you actually waste your, your root, right? So I do exactly that. See, and now they are CC'd for even longer, my team can follow up, and it's, I mean, it's GG, right? And now we are actually quite far ahead. Okay, so we keep pushing the wave, nothing really happens here. We push another wave, and now I see, uh, like, an angle to, to trade this Kai'Sa, so I E onto the minion, I Q, I grab WQ again, because I know that it will hit, and she's almost full life, uh, half HP. And now they go for another really stupid fight, in my opinion. I'm asking for um, Twitch to help and Lulu, but they are not really on time. So I try to find a really good angle here. I know that Lulu is bot. I know that Kai'Sa is probably coming from this side, so I can't really stay here for long. That's why my thought is like to grass queue in. Uh, either grab another grass queue right here. Um, and then actually R these two onto the wall. Or maybe even grab ice, right? And I actually proceeded to grab ice here. So I Q over and then W over in shroud so they can't see me. And then I just ER them. I auto attack, Q auto. But my team is not here. So this is actually kind of weird. I have to flash because if I don't flash, the Brahm stun actually just gets through. And with the Brahm stun, I will actually just, yeah, I will get obliterated. So I just wait for my Twitch to do something here. It's not really working out. Um, and then I actually just do this. WQ the Talia here and actually just hit a max range Q. That was quite beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, and now I would like to chase down this Ezreal, but I can't. Lulu R's me here. And I was like, okay, let's not mess around with the Ezreal. Let's just go for the Kai'Sa. We are, we are, we have them outnumbered. So I just Ice Q her, auto attack once more to proc Electro, and then run away. Yeah. And with Lulu shields, it's actually quite easy to 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 play like that. And now we just have to um, push this wave in a really efficient way. So what do I do? I actually walk close to this cannon and use my hitbox here, standing beside the cannon, and then just queuing all three of these, grabbing W here probably. And then auto attacking this once or twice, and then killing these minions. Auto auto attacking this one or Wing away after that, and yeah. So exactly, I just do that. Okay, auto attack that one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it doesn't really matter. We just push the wave here and move on. 
we are getting closer to profane. I anticipate that I could maybe go for Romia, but then I realize, yo, my wave is getting pushed in and I don't want to lose that, so I just keep staying in lane. And right here I was waiting for Talia for such a long time, but she didn't appear, which was really cringe. Um, we just push another wave. And as you can see, guys, with Kiana, I'm always doing something. It's always about pushing the wave with Tiamat or Profane and then just moving top, moving bot, providing vision, killing vision, sweeping, you know? Looking at the map, seeing what objectives are up. You just want to be present on the map, basically. I know it's cool to look for a lot of um, solo kills, but that's not really how you win games, essentially. Like, to be completely honest. I mean, right here, I was like, okay... She's probably like that was re like that was a sec that was a centimeter, a centimeter basically. I almost art her onto that wall and then I could just follow up. Then I could follow up with Q W Q profane. I don't even need an auto tech here to kill her. But it didn't really work out. So I just auto tech Q her, auto tech profane, auto tech, and then Q. The reason why I use profane here early is because I wanted to get her into execute range so my uh, rock Q actually kills. So we push another wave, and right here I was like, okay, Talia is probably going to kill her right buff here. So how do we kill her? It's the same shit that I just said. You you know that she will run into you, so you have one free auto attack. So the combo right here is uh, using auto attack, then using Q, Ice Q, as you can see, so she's rooted. And then you basically W, E, Q, Profane. In this uh, particular situation. And that just kills. 100%. Auto, Q, W, E, Q, Profane. And there is no way for her to react. Like, I literally did that within a second. And that way she just... She just pops, you know? She just dies. Then I took a reset. I actually have... Are you doing YouTube video recordings right now? Nah, bro. I am uh, reviewing games. This is the last game that I'm reviewing, and then I'll go into solo queue, my friend. I will be playing today. I will be playing. But first of all, so I, I actually have to explain this pretty quick. I play in blocks, which means I play three games. Then I stop. Then I just stop after these three games. And the next time I stop playing, I play three games again. But before I play these three games, I review the ones that I played before. And I keep that process up going and going over and over. And I actually record uh, my reviews and post them on YouTube because I found I found it to be really helpful for some people. So, yeah. I hope that answers your question. So we EQ... What's up, Gus Finessa? Thanks a lot for the kind words, man. Appreciate it. I will obviously keep going with YouTube videos. Don't worry about that. Let's take a look at these combos right here. Glad to hear that, Kishu. Um, you can see that Braum is actually right here. And the problem with Braum is that you don't deal damage in front of his shield. So if you E onto him right here and Q him, the Q will go through and then Profane will actually finish off. And since you used your E, you will also proc Electro. Also, Profane gives you some, some area of attack damage right here, AoE, and that will also get the Ezreal down a bit. So after using your EQ Profane, you can grab another W, use one or two autos, and then finish off the Ezreal, right? So that's the main thought process here. EQ, Profane, as I said, you hit the Ezreal with it, then I grab Rock Q, auto attack, auto attack, Q, and it's over. I'm just really fed right now. And remember that this game was literally uh, 6 and 2. Before I started snowballing, right? So. And right here, I was really thinking, okay, can I kill this Talia? And then I just realized, okay, she's standing at the wall. Like, that's not good at all for her. But then she flashes, and then I pretend to run away. And whenever you pretend to run away, they actually keep running into you again. I don't know why, but this is just a thing. I hit my grass queue. And look how, how fast I'm actually grabbing another W here. Instantly after my Q, I grab a W again. Because I don't want to waste cooldowns. I grab W instantly. I auto profane Q. 
killed Italia with it. They both missed their stuff, which is horrible right here. Like, they just missed me. And then I actually managed to jump away. He, he misses a Q, hits an auto attack. And I actually managed to barely make it out. Like, that was so close. And then I run away. And I, I actually survived it. That was kind of crazy. Um, and then Ezreal ints again. It doesn't really matter what you do here. You will kill anyways. I really like to walk up to them and just pretend to E. And then waste, make them waste their, um, their E. Especially against Ezreal. Unless they are really fat, because then they will never use E and just Q you down. Okay, and right here, we actually have a really nice game on our hands. We are 9-1, and one. the game is looking great, and now we just have to take a look at the team fights. So my team is not really here yet. We are 2 versus 5 right now, or 2 versus 3. And look what I do. This is actually really bad. My team is still right here. Nidalee got the Drake, so there's no reason to engage here. The reason to engage was Drake, and Drake is already gone, so I still go for this. And I wanted to EQ, but since I eat into the stones of Talia, I got stunned immediately and my Q didn't go through. And that's why I was not invisible, and me not being invisible here just kills me. But I actually still make it out somehow, because I'm really fat, but usually this wouldn't work, so this is not a good play. So I use R here. And I hit Braum and I hit Ezreal. And then I just use Profane Q. I'm still invis. They can't see me. And then I grab Ice. But Kaisa actually gets the kill with, with her W. So that was indeed a really bad team fight. But from now on the game is pretty much over. We just get sideline towers. We ignore what our team is saying. And let's take a look at how we play these team fights. So my thought right here is. Let's kill one dude. With um, EQ. And I think the dude that you have to kill here is Ezreal because, I mean, ADCs are broken. So I just EQ flash profane, kill the Ezreal with it. R the Talia onto that wall, but it doesn't really hit. But it's still an insect, more or less, right? So my team can actually follow up. And then I Q auto attack the Braum, dodge his Q and E away here. Aatrox actually wants to keep going. But I just grass Q him and then run away. I actually die afterwards, but I think we get a lot for it. Yeah, we get a kill for it, so yeah, not ideal, but it, but it's alright. And guys, now you really just have to go for objectives um, and play these fights properly. So we have a sideline situation here against um, Aatrox. First of all, from a micro perspective, let's take a look at it. So I use Grass Q here and then run, grab another Grass immediately, first of all, so he can't see me. He walks up to hit the minions and I just Q him. Then I grab another Grass. And I EQ him. And now he's basically Half-Life. And he has to follow up. Because he just used R. And if he doesn't keep going. Like if he doesn't keep going on me. His his R time will just be gone. And then he can't really fight me anymore. I mean he can't fight me anyways. But especially not then. I dodge his W with my W. And then basically just, just wait. Um, I actually miss my R. And look at this guys. Sundered Sky actually just. Almost com like completely heals him. It's absolutely insane, honestly. And then he just disrespects me really hard. He doesn't know that I'm actually one-shotting him here. So I just auto this one. I basically Q, W, EQ, Profane, and one auto finishes him. But I didn't play that perfectly. Because to be honest, this Q is fine. But right here, what I have to do is step back and dodge his Q. And then after that, I can, I can uh, EQ. And use Profane and kill him that way. Exactly, yeah. But this only worked because I was fat. I didn't really play it perfectly. Um, and then I saw an angle here because as you can see, there's this one TP right here in the enemy base. And the entire enemy team is here. So this is a crazy TP flank if my team actually follows. I pinged so often and my team is already moving up. Um, this plant was kind of trolled. I should have done it into this direction. And then I just like see the enemy team right here and it's like over. I just Q, W, auto, Q, kill the kill the Kaisa with it. And then I wanted to E profane, but it didn't really work. I auto E the Braum. And Nidalee actually gets the last kill. It was a great TP flank. 
we go back, we go for Drake immediately here. They get Drake, and I was like, okay, if they are getting Drake and they already got two kills, let's Redder go top lane, right? And then Aatrox thought that he could fight me, but I mean, guys, I am three levels ahead. Like, what are you doing? I don't even have to explain the combo here. He just wasted his Q and I could just use E, R, Q here. I don't even need Profane. Like, I don't know what he was doing. Okay, and now we just uh, keep going, keep ending the game. Dying here was unnecessary. Thoughts on Duo being back in Masters next patch? Bro, honestly, for me, it doesn't make a difference. I won't abuse it anyways. I'm playing Zolo. I don't care. Um, so, I mean, oh, I don't like it, man. I think it's much more competitive if you have to reach it yourself. It's my take on it. I, I don't like it at all. And now my team actually just... Yeah, I mean, we have one more fight here and then we end the game. Um, nah, that was not really clean at all. And I think after the next fight, I die once more, which is unnecessary, but yeah. So after the next fight, we just we just end the game. There's nothing to review here. So that's it for the review. And now let's jump into the spicy, spicy games. <laughs>